Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over Newton's first law. Two and three are in different videos. If you want loads and loads of study stuff to help you with this, you can go over to my website and don't forget you can copy down all of the examples in this video. There are three different ways a force can be applied. It can be a push force, a pull force, or a twist force. Newton's first law of motion, his first of three laws, tells us that an object will remain either stationary or moving at a constant speed and this speed is in the same direction unless a resultant force is acting upon it. For example, these sunglasses are exerting, exerting a force down on the table and the table is exerting an equal and opposite force upwards. So the sunglasses are not going to move anywhere because the downwards force that the sunglasses are exerting is equal to the upwards force that the table is exerting. However, if the table was moved away, the only force acting on this would be the downwards force and the sunglasses would fall downwards. Balanced forces mean there is going to be no change in velocity. So something that is stationary will remain stationary and something that is travelling at a speed will continue to travel at that constant speed of velocity. Here we have two adorable little pups tugging on a bit of rope. If we say the centre is here and this pup is pulling to the right with a force of 50 newtons and this pup is pulling to the left again with a force of 50 newtons, they are both pulling with equal forces in opposite direction. So there is zero newton resultant force. Since both forces are balanced, there is going to be no movement in this. However, if we add an extra pup on to the right, this side is still pulling with 50 newtons. Except this side has two pups, each pulling with 50 newtons. Meaning we now have a 100 newton force in one direction. This is going to equal 50 newtons to the right and we are going to get movement because we have unbalanced forces. This, this can also is be where inertia comes into it or why it's really important for you to wear your seatbelt. Here I have um, a little toy truck with a little balloon attached to it and I want you to watch the balloon after the truck has stopped. Here we go, truck stops there balloon keeps going. We'll just watch that again. Truck stops, balloon keeps going. Because there is a force acting upon the, the fire truck to make it stop, but there is no force acting upon the balloon, so it just keeps going until the force from the string makes it stop. Now, in a car, it is important to wear your seatbelt because the brakes will stop the car, but there is nothing stopping you unless you're wearing your seatbelt. So, we can say that an object will keep doing what they are doing unless a force
changes either their speed or direction. Objects which are changing their speed or direction must, must have a force acting upon them. An object with all forces balanced may be moving at a constant speed or be stationary. And then lastly, we can say that a force is not always needed to keep things moving. Now we're going to think about acceleration in a circle. If an object is moving at a constant speed in a circle, the direction is constantly changing. Velocity is speed in a given direction. So there is one direction. However, if you're moving in a circle, your direction is constantly changing. Which means if the direction is constantly changing, the velocity must constantly be changing. Thus, it is accelerating. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.